The floating action button hovers over your UI generally at the bottom right corner to promote a primary action of your application. There are a lot of different types of floating action buttons and we will also look at how you can place the floating action button at different locations including your bottom navigation bar. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started by going to our build method and here within your scaffold you have a property which is called floating action button and inside of it you can then create your floating action button and therefore I create here a new method where I place then this floating action button widget inside. Mandatory your floating action button needs to have an on pressed handler and this means every time if you click here on this floating action button then you can execute here your functionality inside and I want to print here this press statement. And now if I click here on this floating action button you see he displays this pressed inside of our console. Furthermore you also can give your floating action button a style and therefore you have here this child property where you can set a widget inside. So in my case I place here this navigation icon inside. And secondly, you also have a property background color where you can set the background color of your floating action button. The purpose of your floating action button is to promote a primary action of your application. And this means that, for example, you have the primary action create, share or navigate. And normally it is used, for example, in WhatsApp to create a message or also in Gmail to create an email. In Google Maps it is used to navigate to a different location and sometimes you can also use a share button so that users can share easily your content. To create for example a share button instead of this navigation button we change the background color and then we set here this icon to this share icon. And now we have here this share icon and you also can put here then your functionality inside of sharing your content which you have displayed on your screen. Next we want to change the shape of our floating action button, therefore we want to make it as a square or we also want to include a label inside of our floating action button. So let's get started by creating a square button and therefore you have here the shape property which you set to rounded rectangle border and now you see that we have here a square button instead. And you also can change here then the roundness of your button. So for example, if you put here 12 inside, then it is more rounded. And if you put this value even higher, then it is even more rounded. Let's also create a new floating action button. And this time we want to create a floating action button with a label. And therefore you have here on your floating action button this constructor extended. And then you need to define here first of all your icon and I set it here to this message icon and secondly you need to create a label. And now you see that we have here this extended floating action button with also a label. Like before you can change here the background color of your floating action button and you also can change here the foreground color. And by default the foreground color is here white like you can see for the text and for the icon so you can also change it if you find a better color. Like before you also can change here the shape of your button so we want to make it here for example less rounded. Next we want to change the position of our floating action button and therefore we also want to create here a bottom navigation bar within our scaffold. And now you can go again to your scaffold and here you have another property which is called floating action button location. And here inside you can then pass this floating action button location and here you have then different properties for example center float so it is displayed here in the center. You also can set it to start float and then it is displayed here at the start. Then you also can set it to center docked and this means that it is docked here within our bottom navigation bar. You also have start docked then it is here displayed at the beginning. And you also have end docked, then it is displayed here at the end of our bottom navigation bar. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code of this application, then you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye.